It used to be all sunshine and rainbows until the biggest downfall of climate change happened in China. Humans ruined their own lives. Earth was never meant to be abused by humans. However, as time passed and evolution occurred, humans developed. The planet we live on is absolutely beautiful and ideal for humans. Yet why are we in search of another planet to inhabit? Because humans ruined it. Climate change is the main reason why humans are in need to search for another planet to inhabit. Climate change is a long-term shifts in weather patterns and temperatures. Climate change shifts can be natural, but with man-made causes such as manufacturing goods, deforestation, transportation, overconsumption, and greenhouse gases, climate change is speeding up and not in a good way. When people hear the word climate change, they never truly realize the consequences until the actual destruction happens. If it wasn't for humans, the shifts in climate would be natural, and it wouldn't be causing a drastic change to the world. In current times, we have been partaking in burning fossil fuels due to human activities when we should only be seeing variations in the solar cycle. Climate change was first discovered in the early 1900s as scientists were connecting human activities to global warming and the increase of Earth's temperature due to the burning of fossil fuels. Industrialism kicked off in China. From there, China has consistently been a very prominent manufacturing country. Have you ever seen a tag on an item reading "Made in China"? Many people love to joke that most of the products in the world are made in China, and to be fair, they aren't that far off. China's economy thrives as a manufacturing powerhouse. To keep up with the constant demand, they are forced to expand their factories and the number of items produced per day. The main producer of how China keeps all their factories running and 60% of their electricity is produced by burning coal. China is the largest emitter of carbon dioxide through coal burning. They are also the world's largest patron and producer of coal, consuming more than half of the world's coal. What is coal burning? Asks for you, Mayus. Coal is predominantly used as fuel to generate electricity. China uses it to generate electricity and maintain factories. China is constantly in need of coal. That it came to the point where they stopped trade with Australia completely and signed a 1.5 billion dollar supply deal with Indonesia. If China keeps consuming coal at this rate, China as a whole will fully destruct and become even more harmful for humans to be in such terrible conditions. With China realizing its contribution to climate change, they joined forces with the UN and government officials to cut down on coal burning and become carbon neutral by 2060. A country becoming carbon neutral can mean they are switching to solar power to produce energy instead of coal. It can also include reforestation, which is a project of replanting trees that can help to absorb carbon dioxide. Chinese officials decide to start their journey to becoming carbon neutral. Following the Paris Agreement and the COP26 conference, this is a significant deal for the manufacturing world since China is one of the leading manufacturers in the world. If they decide to go carbon neutral, other countries may lead by example and help to eliminate climate change. To start the switch, China is already pushing the use of electric vehicles while investing in nuclear power to not emit greenhouse gases. They are also focusing more on expanding solar and power projects. Produce energy, replacing coal burning. This would be a lengthy process, considering China relies on coal for about two thirds of their electricity production. The process of diplomacy is not an effortless one, particularly when it comes to dealing with a developing issue. The act of reversing climate change in a time crunch would be difficult. China has realized coal plants being burned was harming the environment, so the Chinese government canceled more than a hundred coal-fired power plants to decrease further damage. The change will have a major impact on China's economy because manufacturing is how their economy thrives. To make a big change in the production of their goods would cost trillions of dollars, estimated around 200 trillion yuan, or 31 trillion dollars. The money will be put towards power generation and industrial sectors in order to become carbon neutral by 2060, while the coal sector will have to shrink in order to replace it with a more eco-friendly energy source. Causing millions to lose their jobs and cause a poverty rise in China.
Overall, the expenses of coal and fossil fuels were extremely high, as it took a toll on bringing down China's economy.